Adobe Premiere's revolutionary new text-based editing is a post-production game changer. Essentially, if you want to cut parts out quickly, allowing you to edit faster. Essentially, allowing you to edit faster. Basically what it does, besides saving you tons of post-production grunt work, <gasps> is it analyzes the voiceover, talking head, or audio tracks, transcribes it, and links it to your timeline. So now you can create a rough cut of an interview, podcast, or any long form content by simply just editing text. Essential for beginners or non-editors who are used to doing copy-based editing. This is an easy transition from word processing software to editing software, and not to mention saves time. Now this feature works best if you're at the beginning stages of your edit, like building a rough cut. But there are ways you can implement this feature in your workflow, even if you're not using it for its main intended purpose. And I'll show you how. Okay, so I have a sequence, a montage of a woman in training with a nice background track that I wanna bring my voiceover into. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit this based on the voiceover. So I'm gonna go into my window workspaces and I'm gonna go to text-based editing. When you open up the text-based editing workflow, you'll see on the left-hand side, the transcript panel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this down and on my voiceover layer, I'm gonna keep that selected. Then I'm gonna get rid of my music track. And I'm gonna go ahead and transcribe. And here it is. It transcribed it really well. I've walked through the darkest valleys, battled my inner demons, and survived the stormiest of nights. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna edit it based on the script. First, I'm gonna lock my music layer because I don't wanna make any cuts to that. So I'm gonna cut out the part here where she says, here I stand. I'm gonna highlight this sentence right here. So you can see when I highlighted it, you can see it changes the in and out in the sequence. So I'm simply gonna hit the delete button and you can see that part is gone. So then here, I'm gonna get rid of not just a physical battle, but. I'm training for the fight of my life, the fight against the doubts, the insecurities and the shadows that once haunted me. Okay, so now I'm gonna highlight all of this and I'm gonna hit delete. I'm reclaiming my power. I will not be defeated. So that's the end of my sequence. After that, I could add titles, graphics and whatnot. And then from here, if I wanna add captions, all I have to do is just add my subtitles. And then you could see that it lays right into my sequence. Another thing to note is right now my transcript is toggled to program monitor mode, which is my sequence. But if I wanna see my full transcript before I edited it down, I could toggle onto the source monitor transcript. So it's very similar to our video workflow. Now I'm gonna show you a unique way to implement this into your workflow that could be helpful to everybody. But before I do, if you're finding this helpful, make sure to hit that like button so we can spread to more people like you. So I have another edit here and it's one of the videos on my channel. So if you wanna check it out, it's about choosing perfect music, link is above. So this is, I have talking head mixed with a lot of B-roll. So it's about a seven, seven and a half minute video. Let's say I wanna to jump to the part where I talk about the audience and I wanna add B-roll to it later on. Instead of trying to find that exact spot in the timeline, what I can do is I could just go up to my transcript and I could search audience and then boom. So you can see the word gets highlighted and it makes it super easy to pinpoint spots in my timeline. Super helpful feature. So that's how you use the text-based editing feature in Adobe Premiere. Hope this helps your videos in the future. See you next time.